I'm Dr. Stacy Treckless here with the next OLT podcast. And today I have not just one, but two Dr. Simmerlines. I have Scott and Mitzi with me. And um, if you guys want to tell us a little bit about what you do. Sure. I uh, am an employee of the Department of Biology at the Purdue North Central Campus and have been so for about a year and a half now. This is my sister Mitzi, and she's from Ivy Tech. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do over there? <laughs> <laughs> um, I teach anatomy and physiology, uh, one and two there. I've been teaching for about seven years. Excellent. So it's all in the family then, all the yeah. science stuff. Actually, I started teaching here at Purdue ten years ago. No, let's see. Yeah, ten years ago, and then went to Ivy Tech, and then came back home here. And so it's, it's been a, a passion of ours to teach anatomy and physiology for quite some time. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> I actually was a limited term lecturer at Purdue as well, but oh, great. Uh, and uh, as well as teaching at Ivy Tech. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, we just happen to be here in the Video Express room for a few special reasons. <laughs> uh, one, of course, is to teach everybody out there about the Video Express Room, but I've picked these two particularly because they've had great success with True. doing Shucks. really cool videos in this room. <laughs> uh, as you can see, well, when you come here, it's not a real big room. It's just, and you can see how close we are on camera. We don't have much room to move around in here, but they have been able to make the most out of the space <laughs> of this room that anyone has ever seen. <laughs> and we will show you some clips right. from some of their videos, which are just awesome. And so what, what prompted you to start coming in here and making these videos? Well, when I first started teaching anatomy and physiology 10 years ago, I found that students needed ways to remember things and being, kind of a uh, poetic sort of individual, I happen to be Poet Laureate of LaPorte County, uh, I decided, you know, maybe if I wrote alternate lyrics uh, that could be set to tunes that the students already knew, these musical mnemonics might be helpful to the students. And not only that, but also engage them in a way that would be most entertaining. Uh, and it, it worked fantastically. Uh, you know, some one of the videos that uh, we've done is includes the Medulla Oblongata song, and that's probably our most popular one, uh, which was a very early one that I actually wrote. And since then, I've written quite a number of the others. But we never really had an, a way to let the students see the videos when I wasn't in front of them performing it. And uh, I did hand out, you know, lyric books and things like that, but it's not quite the same as being able to, you know, hit play and see what uh, that crazy professor is up to. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so you actually perform these songs in front of the kids? Yes. Normally. So yep. this is something you've been or doing Or abnormally, is the case yeah. may <laughs> 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 yeah, it's, it's something that we do, and, and when she came along, she started uh, doing it as well. Yes. And it's really something that sticks with the students. Um, I've even done a, 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 a workshop, well, a small workshop on that True. as part of uh, some of our Ivy Tech continuing education. So right. it's, it's, it's been mm -hmm. something that's uh, it's been ingrained in our mm -hmm. teaching method for a long time. That's very and we always cool. thought some video would be a good idea. Right. We'd have the students audio, all right, tape us, mm -hmm. but... It just is a little different when you actually are right, videotaping it mm -hmm. instead. Mm -hmm. and more students can actually uh, be able to watch it. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. And of course, then you have to up your production value a little bit. Of course. Well, suddenly now <laughs> of I'm course. actually on camera instead of just singing it, <laughs> as you'll see in the clips. <laughs> Hi, the Simmer Song siblings are back with our fourth installment of the Anatomy Simmer Songs. Today's topic is the brainstem. The brainstem has three parts, the midbrain, the pons, and the medulla oblongata. And since the medulla oblongata is such a natural fit for Hakuna Matata from The Lion King, and we're huge Disney fans, we couldn't resist the urge of doing a medley of The Lion King songs for the brainstem. First up, the midbrain, which will be set to the tune from a song from The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride, entitled, Upendi. Sing, Sing with, with us, us now. now. <laughs> At the very top of the brain's own stem With its nuclei and its tegmentum You will find a spot where the action's hot Underneath the thalamus Where the superior colliculi receive Reflex signals from inside your eye And the inferior jump in what you hear For Barack, Gemini in the midbrain, where the dopamine 
over me blows free. Substantial nigris thing is inhibiting muscle tremors in the body. In the big ring, where the nuclei are red, signals they yum to the cerebellum. A party inside your head. Music, the whole shit. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the folks that opened the room are getting a little tired of us. What do you got now? <laughs> <laughs> and of course, ties. Oh, yes, ties. ties. That's, a, okay. that's a feature of the. Of that's a feature. Things. You'll yes. see when you walk in. You'll yeah. see. You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> but all of this, I just love the creativity of it and how much you've been able to do with mm -hmm. it. Thank How you. easy was it for you guys to just come in here and start recording these videos? Well, we got quite a bit of uh, startup instruction from Stacy here. She did a yeah. wonderful job really helping us. us with that. <laughs> well, her, this wouldn't happen. And of course, without Purdue having the setup here either. Uh, but it really is amazingly simple. There's only a few buttons to hit. You basically come in, turn on the lights, stand in front of there, uh, fire up a couple of computers, hit a couple of buttons, and you're off and running recording. Uh, once the re recording is finished, you just simply turn the machine off. It runs through a uh, computer uh, based down in uh, West Lafayette, and in a few minutes, it's ready for you to view and do whatever editing you want to do mm -hmm. with it. Very mm -hmm. simple to do. So we actually have the website that one sees after they've uh, done or after they've recorded their video. Mm -hmm. So there's my account there. I'll actually, swap out so you can see. So there's my account. You can see you can just grab any of your takes. Now, really, how many takes do you usually do? Oh, we're, we're always perfect and get it right on the absolutely yeah. the first take. We're no. professionals. Of course. <laughs> no, it sometimes yeah. takes a few takes. Yeah. You know, occasionally you start singing as we're using tunes from other songs. Sometimes we end up using <laughs> lyrics uh, that are in the original song instead of the one we mean to sing. So occasionally you have to do a little, uh, a little picking and choosing from your takes. But right. it's very easy to just stop it and start it again. You can start another take. It's right. not difficult at all. And you can easily piece them together using Camtasia. Right. right. And sometimes which is provided. Right. Uh, to exactly. Purdue professors, yeah, free that's of charge. Right. And we're we're going to get to that because I think a lot of people are interested in it and all this stuff, but they're not just not quite sure how to get right. started. Right, right, right. But we that's can true. see how easy it is to just grab your video, download it, and then um, Camtasia and well, and Jing too. Jing is another product, but it doesn't quite allow you to. Uh, use imported media. Mm -hmm. So even though that one's free to everybody, um, Camtasia is one that lets you bring in the audio and the video and everything and clip it together, bring in multiple Pictures takes. and other, mm -hmm. and other videos and all sorts of things. We've gotten very... Right. Uh, the more we learn, the more carried away we get. With right, it. and there's a, yep. uh, there's a green screen, so you can put whatever image you want behind, behind you exactly. and add even more if you want to. Mm -hmm. Exactly, because you might notice here mm -hmm that we have our little computer screen floating behind us as well as a mm -hmm. Purdue background, but in real life, this is actually just green. So, so you can pretend to be a weatherman, on. you know. Oh, then there's a cold front coming exactly. in from the <laughs> Lake Michigan, and it's, uh, it's just precious. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's pretty cool. It doesn't it take is. a lot of imagination to come up with something that's really quite nice um, for just about any subject area, not just science, but you know, anybody could come in and do this. And so as far as Camtasia goes, we got you the software, mm -hmm. we set you down, um, now you're off and running, and you never call me for anything anymore, so it must be fairly easy to use. It is, it is. Uh, it's a matter of, it's a lot of pointing and clicking, and you just have to learn where all the tools are in it. Uh, there's a clip bin that you actually can import any of the pictures and videos and things that you've actually uh, collected to put in your video and then you simply uh, put, place them on a timeline at the bottom making sure that you've got them on, on different tracks in such a way that they don't uh, overlap and kite each other uh, and then just basically place them where you want them. It's uh, really quite straightforward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And of course for those folks that don't want to come and use this room you can still use Camtasia and just record at home mm -hmm. or wherever True. you're at in front of your computer it records everything that's on your screen and from your webcam. So some folks will just sit at home. I do. I sit at home and have all my videos, and people can see my cats running around the background. <laughs> <and> <laughs> some of the students enjoy that. So I leave that part that's in, right. even when the cats jump on me while right. I'm trying to record. Shout out for the furry friends. <laughs> yeah, <there you> <laughs> I think everybody's had at least one, if you've ever done recording, but at least one experience with the dog barking or a cat jumping right. or something. Or your model falls over, yes. <laughs> like a cell model. We've yeah, had we that had that before. Happen while we were 
It's like, Whoa. Uh, um, take blooper you know, reel. Blooper <laughs> reel, take two. <laughs> yep, exactly. Exactly. And um, you also do a good job at captioning your videos. Oh I yes, yeah. That's a. Mm-hmm. It's nice to have the closed captioning. Well, because we're using altered mm-hmm. lyrics, a lot of people right. aren't familiar with them, and so when you're right. singing along, it's a little difficult to pick them out by ear. So we mm-hmm. actually do use uh, YouTube's uh, mm-hmm. tool for that. It works very well. Uh, we do have our videos up on YouTube, so if you're interested in seeing any of them, mm-hmm. uh, just type in a search of Simmer Song, S I M E R S O N G. That's one M, not two. That's right, one yeah, M, so not two. What we were up right. to. Uh, we just posted our fourth one, but uh, yeah, it's 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 really quite easy to do that. It takes some time, but it's mm-hmm. not a difficult process. Mm-hmm. Especially if you have something written down in advance. You've usually gotten your lyrics written down already. I've done it that way. I've also just typed it as it goes along. Okay. And I found on this last one, I got to the, well, on this last one, I was uh, typing in the lyric or the, uh, <laughs> yeah. the words that were being spoken, and then I did something wrong and eliminated the whole thing. Oh, no. So then I went back and I just did it by memory and then made the alterations. I had it so memorized by the time we got to that <laughs> point. But, you know, it's, it's usually not a problem at yeah. all. Yeah, it's usually mm-hmm. not hard. Uh, just out of curiosity, have you ever tried Camtasia's built-in caption captioning? It does have the ability to do speech to text. I was advised not to do that by <laughs> certain individuals who shall not remain nameless. <laughs> <laughs> the YouTube apparently is a better tool, so I have not yeah. actually yes. tried that. And I'll tell you why. For your case in particular, okay. you're singing. Mm-hmm. It yes. would be almost impossible for it to do a good job at. Uh, you know, understanding what, everything right. that you're saying and converting that. Uh, I think somebody in a nice, quiet environment who's doing a nice lecture or something like that, it would be better, but you're still not going to be able to rely on that. Well, I have noticed that the YouTube tool, if you go with the automatic, is terrible. Oh, it's horrific. It, yeah. doesn't, it doesn't work at all. No. Uh, so <laughs> typing in your own uh, words is probably the best choice, the own dialogue and things like that. Oh, yes. But, I mean, it was very important for us because we wanted people to be able to read the lyrics and right. use that to, I mean, that's, as a learning tool. Yeah, okay. that's part of the your learning tool is reading it. Mm-hmm. I mean, what if you have some individuals who can't hear? You know, mm-hmm. Then they can, you know, oh, it's that tune, okay. And those are the words. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Uh, and, you know, it, some folks just prefer to read. And, right. You know, for whatever reason, the song is nice or, mm-hmm. you know, the words are nice, but they want to be able to read the right. text right. and that will really right. stick with them. Better. And Absolutely. often they're trying to learn and reading it helps them learn it or mm-hmm. even writing it down helps them to learn it. Mm-hmm. Now, as far as length, how do you decide on how, like, how long to make one of your videos? Well, we try to keep it somewhere between three and seven minutes or yeah. so. Mm-hmm. Um, but of course, if you're doing a lecture, then it's going to be much longer than that. Right. Uh, Potentially. It does affect the download time, I would yeah. imagine. So if you have a longer video, it may t- you may not get it to come into uh, the uh, website or the cache that we just looked at here. But uh, it's you know basically it depends on the length of the song and the mm-hmm. length of the mnemonic that we're attempting to use. And sometimes it's like, oh, that's awfully short. That's a 45 second yeah, clip. Right. Let's. And I sit at home and I try to write another song to <laughs> right. pair with it on a similar topic, that's so we true. end up with a, a video that's at least three mm-hmm. minutes, four minutes mm-hmm. long. Sometimes why there's two songs versus one. Right, we so have one that's four to, songs. Right, in it. we're that's trying to lengthen it a little bit. Mm-hmm. Nursery yeah. rhyme songs. Yes, <laughs> nursery rhyme. The neurological. Neurological. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I love that. One of the uh, most interesting and fun things that we've done is I actually uh, drew a, uh, well, it's a monkey, essentially, a mandrel. If you look at the cross-section of the midbrain, it looks a lot like a monkey. So from the Lion King, we used that and <laughs> yeah. kind of segued into talking about uh, Mavrofiki as a mandrel as, as opposed mm-hmm. to being uh, just a monkey or whatever, and or a baboon, I should say. And mm-hmm. what we ended up doing is I created my own uh, yes. version of Rafiki, but it, we named it uh, Mandy the Mandrel. It's a girl, not a boy. Oh, well, there you okay. go. Okay. It's so, Mandy. So no, no copyright <laughs> right. infringement there. there you go. Uh, but <laughs> as I was drawing that, every time I'd fill in a new item, mm-hmm. I would take a picture of it and then you know, fill, uh, color in the next structure and take a picture of it and then use the pictures in sequence to create a rudimentary animation using Camtasia. So you can, if you get creative, do quite a bit with it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And as far as copyright infringement goes, I know we've had some discussions oh, yes. about being yeah, concerned about mm-hmm. it. Uh, we did talk with the University Copyright Office right. and they right. said it should fall under parity and you know, no one should feel too put out uh, by the use of even right. popular songs like a Disney song. Right. Right. Um, so that is something for everyone to keep in mind is right. that it's this true. is fair use yeah. education 
generally. Um, right. But if you ever have questions, you should mm -hmm. ask some. Oh, sure. We work closely happy with, to with ask Stacy and others questions. to make yeah. sure everything's on the, we did. On the level. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> In fact, we even go so far as to put disclaimers right. on the videos, especially when we're using somebody else's material. Yeah, which so. is a nice way to, right. you know. Giving them credit. You exactly. Know. Yeah. Attribution can go a long way. Well, I think everybody right. knows we didn't write Medulla, or we didn't write uh, Hakuna Matata, <laughs> but still. They yeah. should be given credit for that yeah, um, right. amazing creative work. Mm -hmm. right. right. And then we just change up the lyrics a little bit. <laughs> just a little, just a little. Just a little <laughs> bit. That seems to be becoming rather popular because we saw an awful lot of yes. parodies of different songs during the Christmas season. So, oh, And we were every time we were like, wait a minute, that's what we do. <laughs> what are these people up to? They're watching us. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. It's Stole your idea. Right. <laughs> Sky yeah. Cam. Big Brother is watching. Uh. <laughs> do you... Do you memorize all the songs, so you just know them by heart, or do you use any kind of a cue card? Or Some of the like longer that? ones we do have memorized. We've been using, you know, for example, again, the Medulla Oblongata one we've been using for so long, we pretty much can do that with, without any uh, cue cards. But there is an opportunity in here that you can place uh, on the little case here or on the uh, unit. It's right. magnetized, so we will actually uh, sometimes put the lyrics up there and place a magnet on it just so we can read what's going on so mm -hmm. that is a possibility right. no doubt you probably could use the screen that's here though we haven't done that to help a little bit with that mm -hmm. as well right. mm -hmm. so if you watch really carefully sometimes you see that we aren't looking right at the camera and that's probably <laughs> because we're making sure we're not going to mess up the words right because yeah. so there yeah there's sometimes a lot of words in the lyrics <laughs> a lot of words. <laughs> and you just want to make sure that not only do you say it correctly but also that it's clear right mm -hmm. right so you can learn from it which is kind of the point exactly yeah for those and i think for those folks that have a bit of stage fright Having sure. a script or cue cards oh, I available totally agree. is nice. I know one uh, professor who has had a friend in the room on the other side of the of the mm -hmm. table, off, off camera, holding cue cards. We've had folks um, do that too, yes. Yeah. occasionally. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Well, it works pretty well. There's enough room for someone to sit and be comfortable while they're doing that. Uh, I've also uh, worked with somebody else who has just decided she's just going to have them. Um, have her transcript printed and at you know like re as if she's mm -hmm. kind of reading a newscast and just have it there and not yeah, make any sure. uh, you know bones about the fact that she has a script. Mm -hmm. Sure, you know, yeah, and that it, it all works. Yeah. It, exactly, yeah. Yeah. Whatever it's, it's whatever with. makes you feel comfortable. I mean. For heaven's sakes, do right. Well, when we're doing a you know right. performance piece like we are, it is tr important to try to keep eye contact. But right. it, if you're doing a lecture for your students, it probably isn't really that it's critical. That right. Exactly. Critical, right. Well, and there are tools mm -hmm. as people saw before. Mm -hmm. There's the tool to swap out mm -hmm. the screen so that you're actually not on camera and you can right. do whatever you need to do to adjust yourself <laughs> while the camera right. is going. Um, there we are, are not also, adjusting ourselves just now. Yes. No, we're good. We're mm -hmm. good. We're good. <laughs> Fix yourselves first. <laughs> there you go. Oh, they caught me. Oh, there we go. Make sure that necklace is straight. <laughs> you can also zoom in and out while you're, you know, um, working. Too. We found this a little tricky, screen. though, but there is a remote control you can use that or there which helps remote, laptop. Um, yeah. yeah, or you can do this. And it's all touch screen interfaces, including uh, the screen. So, like, say I want to take you to the ITAP website. Which is actually where you would go to find out how to get Camtasia. You have to an, you have to email um, ITAP, and they will send you the link. Uh, and so I can be doing this with my screen uh, just by touching. Or there's also reach over here. There's also a pen, so you can actually control the screen. Or there's tools to draw on it if you want to say draw on PowerPoint slides. Mm -hmm. Or something like See, that. We're learning something so. too. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Woo but so the important thing is to get started options. doing it. I mean, right. Just come in exactly. and try. The more you play with it, the better you get. The better you get. So. That's all. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And like we said, you can take as many takes as you want. Mm -hmm. You only have to download one or none. You can come back mm -hmm. later and download more. Right. Yep. <laughs> Keep in mind, there's a two-week period where they hold right. the videos for you. After that, they will disappear right. completely. So you need to download them before right. then. Uh, if there are ones you exactly. want Exactly. If there's a few mm -hmm. takes you want, then make sure you download those before that time. Right. Exactly. Yeah, and they do warn you about that mm -hmm. pretty, pretty yeah. significantly they do. as you go through the great. process. Which is helpful. Yeah. You get a, uh, an email as well right. when your True. videos are done. Um, as far as the process and your success with this, I mean, Eric, can you think of anything else that you would want to share with folks? Just have fun doing it. Yeah. It's, uh, it's really quite... Uh, 
if you're a creative sort of person, you can get you know a little crazy with what you put in there. I mean, sometimes we'll use clips from other movies and mm -hmm. and various things like that. So I mean, if it, I think all those things become engaging uh, if you are doing something unexpected. So you know, rather than just sitting here and and just reading along, I think about, well, what can I do with this? How can I play with this to make it more entertaining? And that might get the students more excited about watching the videos. Right. Mm -hmm. And yeah. like I said, it's not really that difficult. We're, no. We need help, or of course, uh, Stacy would be yeah, the absolutely. expert uh, in this field for us. <laughs> and she's always there if you need her as well, so. Well, I try. <laughs> you succeed. She succeeds very well. <laughs> I do try. Um, I, you know, this is such a neat facility. Purdue provided this uh, to us for, for free. Mm -hmm. The university did not pay for this. Which is amazing. Um, yeah. yeah, it's it's really a nice facility. And um, it, anyone can br uh, just sign up to use it. We have a calendar, and you can just email me or call me or the help desk. Either one of us uh, can get you into the room, and then you can record more or less as long as you like, mm -hmm. even in the evenings or maybe even on weekends, depending Unless on the Unless we're semester. in here singing, and in the next yeah. you might have to wait right. a little while. You might have to wait a while. <laughs> so don't be shocked if you hear some strange lyrics coming out of the room. <laughs> and it is located at the back of the library in LSF 253, right by the elevator. Right. So anytime, you can even walk up and you can see whether the on-air light is on. There's an on-air light outside, and that lets people know whether somebody's using the room or not. So that's always a good mm -hmm. indicator, too. Um, well, I really thank you guys. <laughs> And for the experience of learning with you all this cool stuff and oh, yes. all the Camtasia tricks we've learned, and you, you guys are really amazing. For, for claiming to have no theater experience, I just no. don't. Really do. Not formal, but no, uh, no. I guess we're getting it now, right? For sure. For sure. Maybe we'll see you on a real stage at some point. Oh, but you never Who knows. Knows. Who knows. Where will the summer song siblings be next? Hard to imagine. But for now, mm -hmm. YouTube. Yeah, that's right. Right now, Check YouTube. Them out on YouTube. We'll have the link down there in the bottom and at the end, so you can check everything out. Thank you guys again. Hey, you're welcome. Thank you for having us. And thank you for having us.